uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I would like to show you a small video on uh, antenna that I just recently received. Uh, this antenna actually I ordered from AliExpress. Uh, so this is actually a MIMO configuration antenna which is uh, operating at around a 5.8 gigahertz band and uh, this antenna is about 14 dBi. So if you were to look at this close, closely, I have four patches and inside of this you can see a round ground plane to an individual antenna. It's supposed to be a high gain antenna so let's actually test this antenna and let's see what type of a result I would get from this antenna. So right now as you can see this antenna is actually female uh, female based antenna so I need to put like connect, I need to connectorize this antenna to properly actually look at the curve uh, S11 graph. So for that, uh, I'm using this. If you were to look at it, so I have my cable right now. In this cable, I'm using actually two connectors to to actually join it. First, I'm using a female to female threaded part antenna to my port because this cable actually has a SMA male connector so I'm using an SMA female then I'm using an SMA male to both sides are SMA male one side is like this and the other side is the threaded one which is open so I'm just going to simply connect this here I'm going to screw this and once I screw this then I can screw this part of an antenna so this is male and this is female. So I'm going to insert this and I'm going to look at the graph, S11 graph of this particular antenna and let's see if it's suitable for my application. So this is actually manufactured in China. So let me just quickly look at it. So here's my basic setup. So this is my antenna which is connected to my port one and this is what I'm seeing right now. So this is the S11 graph that I'm seeing of my antenna. All right, so let's look at, uh, let's call in our markers. So I'm just going to select my markers. Since it's a single port device, so I'm just interested in seeing S11. So I'm going to go to my marker right now, which is this. Once I go to my marker, I'm going to move this knob, and I'm going to try to see what type of frequency and what type of a response I will get. So uh, the rule of thumb for testing a device using DNA, anything that is less than S11, for specifically for S11 and S22s, Anything less than negative 10 dB is good enough. So let's look at the first resonance point and let's see what type of an impedance or what type of return loss I'm getting. So at about 3.25 gigahertz, I'll get about negative 10 dB, so which is good. But at 2.4 gigahertz, there's nothing. So this antenna is very poorly performed, poorly designed, because it, it doesn't supposed to have a resonance at 2.4 gigahertz band. It's supposed to have a resonance around 5 gigahertz band. So the first marker, first peak that I'm getting, that is about negative 10 dB. Let's call in marker number two. Once I have my marker number two, let's move this. Let's look at the second resonance point. Second resonance point is around 4, 4 gigahertz, negative 13 dB. Let's look at the third resonance point. And that is around this point. Uh, I am getting about 4.96, negative 13 dB, which is good. Let's call in marker four quickly marker 4 and let's move this point. So this is probably the point that I'm interested in. So it's wow. At 5.4 gigahertz and 5.5 gigahertz, this is performing really, really, really good. Uh, we're getting about at this point negative 15 and if I go to the peak of it, uh, at 5.5 gigahertz negative 23 dB. So let's call in marker number 5. So let's just quickly move our marker. So, so from 5.7 gigahertz all the way up to 5.9 and 6.1, 6.2, this is not good, but we also get a dip at around negative uh, 6.5 gigahertz. So let's call in mark number 6, marker 6, marker 6 is as about, let's go somewhere at this point. Oh wow, this is good. So 7.72 gigahertz, negative 19 dB, and let's look at the last point. Resonance point marker number seven. Marker number seven, uh, I am getting about uh, 
at 8.3 gigahertz, I'm getting negative 19. So this is a quite a good response for this particular antenna. Uh, so this is uh, the reason I'm making this video because I recently received this uh, antenna uh, from China. So uh, 15 dBi. Uh, normally, uh, VNAs are not designed to actually calculate the gain. Uh, for antennas, you need to have uh, an aqueous chamber. Uh, which actually tells me an exact antenna, but I can see the performance of this antenna at different resonance point. So uh, I hope you like this small tutorial on this Chinese manufactured antenna. And if you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.